on my way back to CapCut. Let me show you I can automatically pixel faces. It's not foolproof though, so there are a little bit of, you could say, issues here and there. But for this clip, we'll just go to Effects, Body Effects, and here you want to find the Mask option. Don't use this pixel mask, it's a pro feature. We want to have a face mosaic. Click on the plus sign after you've downloaded it, and then you have this element right here. And you can see it detects the face of the person in the front. If you can't see any pixels, just left click on it. And it's actually pretty good. The range is for the size of this pixel mask, so you can expand it. And the size is for the pixels itself, so you can make them smaller or bigger. You want to resize this to have it as long as your clip. But here we can see we have a second person. And this is where the limitations of this auto functions are pretty obvious. It detects the second face and pixels it, but not all the time. So if I play this, you can see the person comes into frame slowly. And here we can see the face. And then it gets slowly pixeled and comes back again. And only then, when the face is big enough, the pixel stays on the face. So depending on the footage that you've got, this won't work perfectly. In that case, you have to do it manually. I've made a video about that. Just check my CapCut playlist and you find it. But for the person in the front that isn't moving and is big enough from the start, this actually works pretty well. And it's one click option, easily done, quickly done. So you may want to check that out. As I've said, face mosaic can be found under body effect. And this I can automatically pixel faces in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.